welcome to much music for the first time, Nina Hagen. Mwah. Looks good. <laughs> it's pink gloss. Pink gloss? Mm-hmm. Okay. Taste Don't good. worry. Oh. My boyfriend always makes like that after he kisses me. Ah. I think that's really not very nice to do. No, not of course. But your boyfriend is in a new band now, you say? Yeah, in L.A. they're called Crocodile Tears, and I always cry Crocodile Tears when I can't see him for more than three months. Uh-oh, uh-oh. How was the tour in Canada? You've been here for a few days. Yeah, it's great. We played uh, Ottawa, Montreal, and Toronto yesterday. Mm-hmm. Worked well? Mm-hmm. Good. Now, I understand that things really, really have begun to change for you on stage because you're changing clothes and you're, you almost have a new stage outfit for every song. Yeah, it's my pleasure to change costumes and wigs to uh, illustrate each and every song. You know, when I sing a song about the spirit in the sky, I would most likely look like an angel. But when I, when I sing about uh, people who are taking drugs, I would more rather like look like a demon, something bad. Well, drugs is a pretty sensitive subject for you because there was once upon a time where, I guess, in the in your early early part of your career, um, drugs was a part of your life, and then things just yeah. you you left that behind and yeah, also meat and alcohol, and I left it behind. So now I really feel high, and I I can uh, work with my energies much better. I can accomplish all kinds of things where I was like shut off from before because I had not enough energy from taking all those down, down going things. But also you needed a producer too like Giorgio Moroder or Keith Forsey to sort of channel the energy. Yeah, or the new one, Adam Kidron. He's 24 years old and he's a real good producer. He worked with Trevor Horn and Orange Juice, Scritti Politi, oh. and he's a good one. A young one, a good one. Yeah. Now let's talk about New York, New York. Why that? I mean, that was the same time as Zara. Why New York, New York? And you even rapped in it. What, how did this come to you? Yeah, because uh, in 1980, I went to the United States for the first time in my life. And it was New York I went to. And I couldn't believe what I saw. I fell in love with the city and with the atmosphere and with the or the thing that, that they have so many clubs, you can go from one to another, and they change places, and um, each week a new club is opening up. This, this was only happening in New York. Later I went to L.A. and I found out that they also do that kind of thing. But New York is, was something totally special to me, and it still is, and I believe that people are very creative in New York, and all those penthouse situations with swimming pools. You might never know what is on top of a roof in New York, it might be paradise, you know, with swimming pool and jacuzzi. <laughs> it might be a UFO, but we'll talk about that in a second. First, let's look at New York, New York. Nina Hagen on Much Music. I got nominations, music station, Much Music, and uh, New York, New York. Now, let's talk about UFOs. Okay. I saw my first UFO in the night. It was 1982, I was pregnant in the fourth month with my upcoming daughter, Cosma Shiva, and I was asleep, I, I stand up, I go to the window, push the curtains away, and there was a huge round object hanging, floating over me, and it was making some color games with me. It was showing yellow, turquoise, dark blue, pink, all kinds of super fluorescent colors. And every color, each and every color, had a different feeling, a different character. So I could feel uh, the, the difference of the colors for the first time in my life. That was the whole conversation I had with them, through the colors. Then the colors went away and I could look inside. And there were people walking around inside with kind of uh, body suits like that. And real meat color, normal looking creature, so to speak. And I was kind of disappointed because they didn't even look at me. And um, they were just like in a, in a TV office building, working on their machines. Didn't look at me. But in a spaceship? A inside of this round spaceship, yeah. That was your first encounter with UFOs? Yeah, and then later I found out um, through somebody who was also a contact person that they came from Orion. And what about, you were down in Rio, and that's, uh, yeah, 
I can understand the, the festival was amazing from J.D. Roberts. He told us that it was incredible. And after Rio, though, I understand you went to Peru to see the landing strip. I wanted to go there. We wanted to have a gig there, but they had no hall and not a lot not enough electricity which we could plug our equipment in so we didn't went to peru this time but i'm going to tour brazil in september again we have 16 days that's so much never ever any rock started as many gates in brazil than i will in september and then i hope that i can go to peru we also going to play in argentina and i can play evita Evita. And I'm gonna feel like that when I go back to Peru. Because in my last life, I was an American Indian called Nina Koya. Nina the Indian girl. And when I go back this time to Peru, everybody's gonna recognize me. And we're gonna have a big ecstasy party in Peru. And you're going to Tokyo also, aren't you? I was in Tokyo and I'm going back to Tokyo on the 20th of this month. And I'm doing a concert with the Japanese Philharmonic Orchestra. I'm doing some Brecht Weil and um, Bizet, I do Carmen, and uh, it's going to be broadcast over in, into 15 countries. And um, what else am I doing? I am doing a movie in the beginning of 86 with Angeline, the Los Angeles billboard queen, and Robbie from Crocodile Tears, and um, Joe Strummer from The Clash, and Ari Up from the, from the X Slip, and Lena Lovich and me and uh, a couple of others are going to be involved and it's going to be a soundtrack coming out from this movie and the working title is reincarnation soap opera based on real scientific moments now you're going to throw to your next video to that camera right there we're going to show universal radio but you have to introduce it okay you understand this this video was made by the biggest open air festival ever ever happened after woodstock it was a 10-day open air festival and all the heavy metal and all the metal and all the punk and new wave groups of this planet were involved in rock and reel and so was i and the video is called universal radio Hey, I'm on the nation's music station, Universal Radio, from NXTC, which is the latest LP, which is very, very, very good, I must tell you. Thank you. It's excellent. Thank you. And I guess a lot of people in America are just coming to find out who Nina Hagen is, but we've been listening to you for a while in Canada. Yeah. How are they treating you down there? Um, I have beautiful fans all over the planet, and they're coming to see my shows. And we're getting down to party afterwards, you know. So it's really fun to know all those people coming again and again and again and again. And I'm going to do this like Tina Turner every year. I'm on tour constantly, you know. I'm working. I love to do it. I would be bored if I couldn't tour. And you also have your first fan club, from what I understand. You have a fan. There yeah. is an official Nina Hagen fan yes, club. Yes, and I designed a fashion line. Uh, UFO fashion and ecstasy fashion and I have a science, science fiction bra with two light bulbs in the front. It's uh, silver plastic with silver spots all around and uh, I had it on stage yesterday so everybody who was there knows how the science fiction um, so fashion looks like. will be able like. to dress like Nina Hagen very soon. Yeah, they can uh, order this stuff over my fan club and then also boutiques and uh, warehouses in Germany are interested in it already. Well, now, speaking of dressing, we're going to dress you up in our very own Much Music t-shirt. Oh, this is much for you. Music. It's not, not bad, eh? And TM. You know what <laughs> TM stands for? What? Transcendental Meditation. Ah, no. okay. Ah, thank you. It's beautiful. With all my favorite colors. Violet, red, yellow, and blue. And we're going to watch you. the Zara video. Now tell us something about Zara. Okay, Zara was a very famous actress in Germany. She was Swedish and she had a voice so deep that nobody would believe she is a woman. But she was a woman. She had two children in her life. She died 1980 something and she's in heaven now and she inspires me. Still, doesn't matter if she's here, there or anywhere. She's somewhere out there. And I can feel her coming to me each and every night when I do my show. 
and I sing her song. And you can see this on this video, and I even try to look like her. And I, I think I did a good job in looking like her. Some of the notes you hit there are just amazing. Yeah, it's uh, inspired by her. She has the most deepest female voice I've ever heard in my whole life so far. Nina Hagen and Zara, thank you for coming. Oh, thank you. Oh, all right. The music station. Throw to your next video to that camera right there. We're going to show Universal Radio, but you have to introduce it. Okay, you understand this. This video was made by the biggest open air festival ever, ever happened after Woodstock. It was a 10 day open air festival, and all the heavy metal, and all the metal, and all the punk and new wave groups of this planet were involved in rock and reel, and so was I. And the video is called Universal Radio. Talking to myself, talking to myself, talking to myself, I'm my 